Well, hey YouTube, it's Elvis Ammo here. Hey, today we're gonna do what I'm hoping is just a normal test. Um, and you know how these things go. This is the first time that I've decided to, uh, first time I'm gonna shoot that new powder with my low heat method. And, uh, and I'm gonna shoot it in the rifle. You're gonna you're gonna just see it with me the first time. So I don't really know what to expect exactly. Um, you know, we know that the uh, the powder, um, you know, isn't cured 100%, but it's working really well, and I'm not getting any leading. But so far, I've only shot it in handguns. And uh, today, I'm gonna shoot it in the uh, supersonic 300 blackout. And uh, and this is kind of a two-fold test because there's some folks that have been talking about the supersonics and uh, I don't know whether they're having a hard time, you know, getting them to group or whatever. So what I've decided to do is uh, I'm using um, the, uh, the low heat method on my bullets. These have gas checks and these have no gas checks. So um, I'm gonna shoot a group. We'll see how they do with gas checks and see how they do without gas checks. Now they are both around 20 BHN. Um, and, um, and if everything goes good, then we can just end it here on the range. So let's, uh, let's get to shooting these. And I honestly don't know what to expect. Usually, most of the time when I do these videos, I have some idea, but in this case, I really don't. And whatever happens, happens. You'll see it first right here. <laughs> Let's get to shooting. All right, so we're gonna start from a cold barrel and we'll go ahead and shoot the ones with the gas checks first. shoot the ones with no gas checks. See what we got. All right, so 
what I done is I went ahead and went and loaded up some of the uh, plinking bullets that I usually use the ones that I bake at 400 degrees and um, and they were specifically around BHN 15 so because that last group that I shot I was getting so much smoke um, I wanted to see if the powder because it wasn't cured fully was burning off so I'm gonna shoot the regular group now and see how that group does this is my normal plinking bullet that I would use just for plinking here we go See what we got. Alright. You know, that was uh that's the that's the drill. I mean uh you know you you see it here. Um huh. uh you know just uh I, I was really I was really expecting to you know go out there and um and really you know um there's been some talk, you know, in the comment section and on my Facebook page, you know, about uh, about shooting the 300 blackout supersonic um, with this bullet right here. That's the uh, the 155, and uh, it's the one that I like the best, you know. So I think some people are buying this one and trying it out. I'm not sure if they're having good luck or bad luck or somewhere in between. So I thought I would kind of put out a test that would um, that was really needed. Uh, you know, I just haven't had time to do it, and uh, so I took uh, I went ahead and used this bullet with my new low heat method because I haven't been able to fire them out of a rifle yet. So I thought I'd get to fire them out of a rifle. I'd see it, you'd see it, and uh, just show you firsthand whatever happens happens because I, I just had no idea. So, uh, so anyway, um, I went ahead and, and, uh, and did that. And then, you know, when this, uh, when this group right here went screwy, um, that just, that was way off from what I expected, th this group here. Um, now it started out, if it would have stayed right there, that's, that's an inch. Um, and the one with the gas check, you know, it done, it done fine. You know, but it's still, uh, I think it's still a, a, an inch and an eighth is what that measured, you know, with the gas check at 50 yards, an inch and an eighth. So, you know, I mean, that's okay, you know, for, but with the gas check, I would have expected that to do better at 50 yards. And then, um, so that's when I was like, you know what, I've got to try something else. I've got to throw something else in the mix. So I thought I would just go ahead and, um, cause I knew that my plinking bullets without gas checks do better than this. Um, and one of, one of the ideas that I had was, I don't know if you seen it while I was shooting or not, but you know, depending on the which way the wind was blowing, whether you would determine, you know, if there was more smoke or less smoke from this one versus this one you know the uh, gas check versus the non gas check in the uh, 20 bhn low heat method um and this one looked like it was you know 
quite a bit extra smoke. Um, so that's when I decided I needed to go ahead and shoot this group um, with using my bulk bullets that I always shoot for plinking. Except for this time, I didn't just grab them out of my bin of bullets that I plink with because I wanted to make sure that I loaded them exactly the same as I did with with these two that we were comparing. So, uh, you know, so I loaded up, you know, some, you know, with the, uh, without, um, well, th no, this one. This is, this is the, this was the, my go-to bulk bullet that I was using. So I just went ahead and, and went for the same one that I'd been using. And I even measured it first for BHN. Um, right here I went ahead and measured it just to be sure because I knew that they that this particular bullet was around 15 and sure enough it was around 15 um, but that was important to note doing the test that it was 15 BHN so I did that and uh, and and that was kind of what I expect you know at 50 yards and uh, you know and I, I've done these videos I believe before with this bullet um, but you know that group right there was uh, was an inch at 50 yards with no gas check, which is satisfactory to me um, for planking. Yep, yeah, one inch. I'm measuring center to center. Uh, might be just a hair less than an inch even, but this one here was uh, uh, an inch and an eighth is. No, that's what that one was and this one would have been uh, this one would have been an inch but this one right here went three and a half inches that way and the other one went three and a half inches this way off the paper you know I don't know what that was about but that was to get gas check with the new method gas check uh, no gas check with the new low heat method and this was my ordinary plinking round that I use with no gas checks right here so um, so anyway uh, so now you know what happened you know what happened you know well you heard me say that I thought I seen you know a lot of smoke you know when I was shooting and that's what made me think you know I need to shoot this group so um, you know the smoke you know well that that's what the gas check bullet looks like you know with the low heat method that was my gas check that I put on there and um, this was the uh, same bullet no gas check low heat method um, and we know um, I have some some specific powder coming you know for that's made for curing at low temps so um, you know, we still have a lot of investigating to do here to find out what's going on, what happened. Um, I know that this bullet is harder than the bullet that shot a good group. So, um, so hopefully, um, that's that's uh, my suspect. That I suspect that this bullet, um, it, because of its cure, shooting at pistol velocities was absolutely no problem. As a matter of fact, I, I've been getting better luck, you know, shooting with this low heat method in my pistols. But in the rifle just now, first time I shot it, I got a feeling because of the smoke that, that, um, that this was uh, maybe burning off too much. It couldn't withstand the heat because of the cure level that it was at. So... Um, but I want you to see exactly what's happening as it's happening. I mean, you know, so, I mean, you're learning right along with me. But that's, uh, I just got a feeling that it was burning off because I've seen that, that extra smoke. And I'm not sure if you can see it from your angle. And uh, so, you know, then I knew that we were going to have to come back to the bench and just kind of explain a couple of things. You know, I hope... Uh, I hope I didn't miss anything because I'm kind of, I, I was, it was, you know, just, it was a little bit of a surprise, I guess, you know, to me. You know, I wasn't expecting this to happen. Um, 
And this group, I really wasn't surprised. You know, I thought maybe, uh, you know, just to give you some background information, you know, this is, I, I was using uh, random, random brass. And uh, now I did, uh, I did, however, um, use, you know, all of the same Lake City, but it was just random range brass. You know, I did, I did look at the uh, st head stamps on it and used Lake City brass for all of the testing so they'll all be the same. I did do as much as that, but I didn't, you know, fine tune the, you know, measure the cases and all of that, you know, just random brass, you know, clean prep brass. And, uh, and by the way, you guys would be like, what did you load it at? What did you load it at? I didn't even tell you that. Um, it, it's my normal load of 16.8 grains of IMR 4198. It's kind of one of my go-to powders for a lot of things. I love the 4198. But um, 16.8 grains of 4198, that's what I normally shoot in my bulk supersonics for this round. And uh, you know, that's uh, and that's your typical, you know, you might get, you know, because when I'm loading them, sometimes I'll, um, a lot of times I just load them with my powder measure and in bulk you know and every once in a while you might get one you know that goes astray somewhere but um for the most part you know no gas check works good and i know that this is some information that uh even guys that aren't interested in my low heat method um is interested in load data and what's going on you know with uh with that bullet you know uh, I know a lot of people are trying to shoot this one. So that that's what I'm shooting it at. So anyway, there's a little background um, on what happened and uh, you know what went on there, you know, you know whether whether you know was it just random brass? Was it um, I went from this one, uh, I went from uh, from you know by the time I shot these three, that was eight rounds. I don't really, I don't, I don't think that the barrel heated up too much. I don't think so. You know, you know, was it something else crazy that went on? You know, I measured the, uh, I measured the powder, you know, with my, with my powder scale, you know, so that all of the powder uh, weights were the same, 16.8 grains. At, uh, at 2.035 was my target, but, um, I think I was uh, averaging about, uh, well, here it is right here. I knew that they were growing on me. <laughs> so, yeah, 2.041 is, uh, you know, I, I was between 2.038 and 2.041 is where, is where all my measurements were at. I knew that much. So I would just figure I'd share that with you, you know, if you're interested. So, so that's it. You know, 2.040. My target is really 2.035 in my rifle, um, but um, but that's well within the bounds as far as I'm concerned. And uh, for 16.8 uh, grains IMR 41.98. And uh, and I'm using that uh, that 312 155 2R Lee bullet that I really like a lot, and they do good groups. But now we just need to wait for this new powder to come in, and we're going to do some more testing on there. I'm going to do some more comprehensive testing. You know, we're going to compare, you know, some different stuff here. Uh, you know, we'll do some gas checks, no gas checks, 400 method gas checks no gas checks with the uh, with the um, new powder that I have coming in that's made for low temp curing so that's when we're really going to get into you know whether this system is going to be you know the best system for us or it doesn't matter with our powder coating YouTube uh, see you in the next video